Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, your Chase character for NXT TakeOver Month, Nikita Lyons, ready to pounce. Uh, kind of a surprising pick, in my opinion. Um, she's been off TV for a bit, rehabbing an injury. Um, hoping, I think she's close. I think she's close to coming back. Um, but pleasantly surprised that it's Nikita. Um, trainer ability, 26k purple move, starting with two more move points. Snowfall gems do 75% more damage. Um, we showcased this ability in the Wes Lee preview. Links, NXT, any color move, start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear. Maybe you don't watch NXT and you're like, who is Nikita Lyons? Um, as talented on the mic and the dance floor as she is in the ring. Nikita Lyons comes to NXT from the world of entertainment, having grown up on the road and traveled from concert to concert with her rock star parents. I didn't know she had rock star parents. Um, equipped with an arsenal of punishing strikes and lethal spinning roundhouse kick after years of training and coaching in MMA and boxing. Also, if you follow her on Instagram, she's a singer. She's really good. Um, okay, so a couple different moves we're going to take a look at. The first is a five-star build, triple green with a move damage focus. The finisher, the split-legged leg drop. Yes, that finisher. 10 MP, deal 589,711 damage and choose a 7 by 4 area to destroy. Green 2, the German suplex, 6 MP, deal 457,655 damage and increase your green MP by 4. And the 5 star move, jumping corkscrew roundhouse kick, 8 MP. Deal 272,183 damage and choose two rows to make into leech gems of strength. 216,565. I think this officially makes her um, the strongest leech gem user. It was JBL Hawk from his submission for a very long time. I think this is, um, this surpasses him now. Um, like I said, we're going to do a green move damage focus. Steal for green MP. Bailey for two green MP and 100% more damage to the green moves. We could do some finisher damage, but the it, um, the damage is allocated quite nicely between all three moves. I'd rather boost all of it instead of just going ham on one of them. Although, probably not the end of the world. But I just like having the, you know, the equity of all the moves. Uh, Gooker for 25% to all moves. Truth for 25% to the green moves for the belt. Chic plate takedown twos. The green percent is not quite maxed out. We're at 159, so there's about 40% there we could still get. Chic plate, whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns. And let's see how hard this hits. All right, so instant analysis. They got her gear down pat, 100%. The gear looks amazing. She has all the straps and all that. Like it, They made that look really, really, really good. Um, like I said in my Wesley preview, I'm an NXT mark. So this is like, this is a huge deal for me. I'm really excited about this. Um, I don't have tour perks yet. Um, just have the speed up, so we're going to see how they look perkless. And let's go ahead. So we're starting with 2.2 .2 mil on the German suplex. 6 MP. That's 1.3. That's 2.0. So this is all belt entourage without triggering the plate yet. A and a crit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 1.6. Choose two rows to make into leech gems. That looks clean. That crit as well. Um, and we're going to destroy a 7 by 4 with a finisher. So you want to find as many green gems as possible. It looks like we're going to go... I mean, we could go from here up or from here down. Because they both have 5. I kind of like to put them, like, top and bottom. Just so when I go to destroy the area, I know my parameters. And then the split-legged leg drop... 
Which, if I'm being completely honest, looks a little awkward because that's her pinning maneuver. So it's kind of weird to see her hit it and then, like, stand up and drag her to the middle of the ring. But possibly being overly critical because I care. Uh, but that is the move damage build. Recycle is quite nice if you have enough green gems. If you don't have a chic plate, you could do something that gives you green MP. Um, just to help solidify that a little bit that you're going to recycle. Uh, but let's go, let's stick with some move damage and go take a look at this build with an MP steal. Next, we're going to take a look at the five star build with an MP steal. So you would use this against an opponent, preferably with two green moves as you only steal four. Um, so you would get eight. That would fill your finisher as well. We're bringing in the spinning heel kick six MP Deal 694,814 damage and steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's green moves. Um, that is a decent chunk of move damage as well. So I'm going um, double red MP trainers, Butch, and then um, Judgment Day Finn for 100% to the red moves. Gooker and Snoop. Um, I didn't change the belt. You could, in theory run the uh, tested loyalty plate you would need to make sure that you break six red gems with the finisher um, but that would increase your red move damage by 75 percent i'm just going to keep the chic plate on for now um just because i'm going to keep all that i don't have a takedown to red percent either but that would obviously be you you would build this for red move damage but let's just um not the most ideal situation here um, Shayna doesn't start with her green moves loaded, so we're going to take a bunch of swipes just to get everything set up to show you guys, um, how it works. So, we're just going to swipe. And swipe. And swipeity swipe. Perfect. Six and six. Spinning heel kick, so 2.1. A lot of move damage here. This is still doing about a million without the um, the green move specific entourage. We've got a lot of red gems. Actually, in hindsight, the uh, NWO plate would have been nice here. Um, I do want to catch... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to go like that because I get to catch that green gem. And then 2.7 on the finisher, which is still not horrible at all. Leech gems, heal ourselves, do some extra damage. Loki wanted to kick out. Yes, no sell it. No sell it. Wonderful. Wonderful. What a great day. Ta -da! One point five on the finisher. And she's done. You could also use um the aftershock plate if you wanted, just to help ensure that you recycle the red. Whenever you break three or more green gems, get three red MP at the end of your turn. That would work as well. I just happened to keep the chic plate on to show that you can get... Um, just to show that you can still get some damage without building entirely for it. Uh, but she does have another MP steal that we're going to go take a look at. Let's go do that. So now let's take a look at the other MP steal. She does have two of them. They have the exact same damage, exact same MP stolen, except for the color. Uh, the running clothesline, 6 MP, 694,814 damage. And steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's black moves. So I guess we've got to run some black moves, don't we? Black 1, sleeper hold, 7 MP submission. Generate 30 random submission gems and do 367,720 damage for 4 turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into leech gems. Um, assuming that it is of strength 216,000, maybe. I don't know. 
We'll have to look in game uh, in the match. And Black 2, the swinging side slam 8 MP, deal 330,542 damage. And make 24 leech gems into black gems. Again, this is just a move damage build to showcase the MP steal. Um, the belt is a mess. I'm keeping the same entourage on um, because I just want to showcase this. No ideal opponents unlocked for me. So we're going back against this Shayna and we're going to be swiping and waiting for her to load up the black move so we can steal stuff. It's not the most ideal situation, but it is a preview. So I wanted to showcase the move. And so we're stealing four. She has four. I guess we could go. We're not going to be loaded. Again, no tour perks. So we're going to be short here, which is fine. But 2.1 mil. I'm going to take this black match. And then we roll in. Ugh, calm down there, superstar. Uh, so sleeper hold. I get about 1.3. 3 million damage out of this. Probably could have done this as like a super sub build, to be honest, but you know. Whatever. Um, 95,000, I think is what it said on the leech gems. I think. I think. Yeah, nowhere near the amount of, of the five-star move, which makes sense to me, in all honesty. Especially when you're making this many. Um, she's not loaded and ready to... Go. Do I have a swipe into Leech? I don't. Rip. Rip. Again, we're not using Fury Metals or anything. We're just kind of doing a, a janky build for this move damage. Not the biggest fan of using an MP steal with a sub anyways, but it does provide you options depending on your opponent. Um, Hall of Fame China... Trickster Dakota come to mind with uh, as prominent black move users. Maybe uh, Tech Becky as well. Uh, but let's let's go switch into the gem damage build and see how this sub is really supposed to work. Last build that we're going to take a look at is available at six star. It is a gem damage focus, triple black, bringing in the sleeper hold submission that leaves leech gems, the swinging side slam that turns leech gems into black gems, and the six star move, which is the Samoan drop, 8 MP. Deal 277,222 damage plus 95,682 bonus damage for every leech gem. And this is a hardcore move. Again, triggered when a condition is met. The hardcore effect goes first, then you get the normal effect second. Um, and making class advantage means something. If your opponent is a powerhouse, increase your black gem damage by 75% for one turn entourage for this we will be showcasing wes lee's training ability black moves start with two more move points and leech gems do 75 percent more damage striker woods for black mp theory i only have him at 50 percent if you have him maxed out he will be a hundred percent you could do tech bailey you could do striker seth i'm doing um co-owner flair to reduce the submission turns um, making it a two-turn sub. Again, I said this in the West Lee preview. When the base is four, I'm a lot more comfortable using the submission reduction because if you're trying to convert the gems you're leaving behind from the sub, when it's a three-turn base, it's really risky because it's only a one-turn sub and your opponent might just come right back and smack you. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable using it for a four-turn base because we want to leave as many of these leech gems on the board as possible, not only for the bonus damage, but to convert them afterwards. Um, for the belt, Rhonda's jacket plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. And full set of Fury 2s. So going against a powerhouse to show off this hardcore move. 
Again, no tour perks. So this is just double MP trainers ready to go. Turn one with the sub. Um, you can tell it's a hardcore move because it's glowing. Okay, sleeper hold. Two turns. If she gets a purple match, we might be effed. But yeah, she laughed herself one. Grr. And then she didn't take it. All right, uh, so 47K on our black gems, 66K on the black leech gems. I will just go down to times one. We're going to increase our black gem damage. Again, hardcore effect goes first, even though it's second in the description, the hardcore effect goes first. Samo and drop, increase our gem damage, and then we crit, and then there was a bunch of things that popped up on the side, so we didn't exactly see the full damage done. Um, as the bonus damage per leech gem. 215k bonus damage, and we have a good chunk on the board. Um, and now we're going to turn leech gems into black gems. Again, we boosted our gem damage. 83k on black gems, 115k on the leech gems. So this should hopefully be... We almost got all of them. 5.6! 5.6 turn two, leech gems, so we're fully healed, completely recycled. Can probably stack um, the jacket plate another time, but that's how that looks. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Nikita Lions ready to pounce. A modern era aggressive technician, trainer ability at 26k. Purple moves start with two more move points and snowfall gems do 75% more damage. Um, NXT link, any color move, start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. So I think she automatically gets an edge because in terms of NXT females, it's her and it's Ember Moon. So by default, she's the best NXT female. I don't know if I would be using her over Tech Becky for anything. They are both aggressive and I have all the bells and whistles. That isn't me saying Nikita is bad. Just let's be clear. That's not me saying Nikita is bad. Um, I like her. I'm, I like that you've got move damage, gem damage. You could do a super sub. She's got MP steel. She's versatile. Um, definitely not a bad character at all. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Um, what NXT female talent would you like to see this month? Um, it does look like we're getting Cora Jade this weekend. Boo! Um, maybe Tiffany Stratton, maybe Roxanne Perez. I want Lyra Valkyria, but they won't do it. And Sol Ruka, but they won't do it. Again, I'm an NXT mark, so... Like, swerve everybody and give us Kiana James, honestly. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Party, party.